Hello everyone. My name is Edward Zezeko and I'm the Education Specialist at the Anastasia Mosquito Control District. In this video, I want to talk to you guys about midges. So, at AMCD, we get a lot of service requests and our technicians go out there and some of the times, the people are actually calling about midges because they don't know how to identify a midge and they look a lot like mosquitoes. So I want to show you guys the difference between midges and mosquitoes and I'm going to give you a little tips on how you can prevent midges from getting onto your property. So first, let me show you what a midge looks like. All right, oh, that's probably too far for you guys to see. All right, well, let me fix that. Okay, so here's our midge. And the first thing you'll notice is it doesn't have a long proboscis like mosquitoes have. Mosquitoes use this proboscis to suck blood, and midges don't have that. So I'm gonna show you what a proboscis looks like on a mosquito. Okay, so now here's our mosquito, and you, can you see that long thing coming out of its head? That's the proboscis, and that's what it uses to suck blood. All right. Another difference between midges and mosquitoes is how they sit on walls or on vegetation. So I'm gonna show you what a mosquito looks like when it's standing. Okay, so you'll notice how the mosquito is kind of arched. It's kind of like in this V shape, and its hind legs are up in the air behind it. Well, midges, don't, they don't sit like that. I'm gonna show you what a midge looks like when it's on a wall. Okay, so the midge lays flat. And can you see its hind legs? They're not up in the air like mosquitoes are. They lay flat against the wall. And that brings us to our next point. Oh. So the next point is midges are more likely to be on the walls of your homes than mosquitoes. Mosquitoes really like this vegetation to land and sit in the shade on. They'll, they'll be in like tall vegetation that's really shady. Midges are more likely to be on your house and cars. So when you see these, this insect that you think is a mosquito, take a closer look. The first thing you want to notice is, is it on my house? Okay, so that's, that's kind of red flag number one. The second thing is, is it laying flat? That's red flag number two. And then if you can get close enough, you're going to look for that proboscis. So another similarity with midges and mosquitoes is they both breed in stagnant water. Midges prefer to breed in like residential um, retention ponds, okay? And that's why you'll probably see a lot of them on your homes because that's where they're coming from if you live in a neighborhood that has retention ponds or if you live by a retention pond. So they breed in stagnant water and the way to prevent them from breeding in stagnant water is put a fountain in the pond because this disrupts the water and it makes it impossible for them to land on to lay their eggs. So now you know what to look for when you see an insect that you think might be a mosquito. And I hope you think about this next time you put in a service request, but if you're sure it's a mosquito, always feel free to call us and we'll come out and check for you.